ain't many people t- uh, ain't too many people showing you this right here cuz not too many people know about this i learned this from a old old rich guy back in the day they used to call it the round robin back then i don't know what they call it now but this is the sauce right here all right so i'm about to show you how to get a half million dollar line of credit off of your signature right a half million dollar line of credit off of your signature yeah you heard it right a half a milli right so i'm big on relationship banking when you're with a branch you need to have as many products with that bank as you can it makes you a more attractive client to that bank and they're gonna do whatever they can to make sure you're happy right so d jerry how do i get a half a million dollar line of credit so it's a process it's not an overnight type of thing it's not a one year type of thing this is relationship banking you're building a relationship with the bank that you branch that you bank with right so it's a process now you have to watch this whole video this whole video to get these steps it is a series of steps if you miss a step you cannot move on to the next part these steps are very 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 crucial all right so first things first it's not a line of credit with one institution you have multiple institutions that you're gonna have to do this with right and I'm gonna go through how you do it at each branch right so what you need to do is especially if you are a veteran if you are a veteran, first off, thank you for your service. Secondly, you need to be doing this to level up, right? So with Navy Federal, you have to go get a personal loan, right? But first, but first, don't go out and apply for the personal loan. Do not do that. Do not do that. If you don't have a strong credit history and you don't have um, a low debt to income ratio, you're going to get denied, especially with a lot of these branches, these banks that I'm going to tell you, right? So you have to go out and get a checking and savings account for these banks that I'm about to tell you, right? Lock in. You need to go get a Navy Federal checking and savings account. You, these are for the vet. The first two are for the vets, right? You need to go get a Navy Federal checking and savings account. You need to open a USAA checking and savings account. You need to open a Bank of America checking and savings account. And you need to open a Wells Fargo checking and savings account, right? So now that you have opened all of these banks, right? All of these bank accounts, you got five branches that you're banking with, right? You have a checking and savings with all of them. You deposit some money and it don't have to be a lot. I said, if you've done all the stuff that I'm taught you to, up to this point where you're selling stuff online you're sell, flipping and selling cars you're doing gig work and now you done worked on your credit so now we're about to level up we're about to now you don't have to do the gig work you don't have to flip cars we're about to move on to getting your credit trump tight so you can start buying real estate this is where the bag comes in all right so now that you've gotten these checking the savings accounts with these five banks the next thing you have to do is what's called a pledge loan. The next thing you have to do is what's called a pledge loan. Now, I'm not going to hold you up. It's going to take a little bit of cash to do this, right? The more cash you got, the faster you can skip a lot of these steps. But you have to start with the pledge loan. What is a pledge loan, DJ? Well, I'm glad you asked. A pledge loan is basically saying, hey, I have a, uh, $2,000 in my savings account. I'm going to use this $2,000 as collateral to get a loan from your institution, right? So now what they say is, okay, he has the collateral, so we'll hold that money and we'll give him a $2,000 loan. Well, why do I need a $2,000 loan if I already got the $2,000? It's a process, all right? You got, trust me, it's a process, right? So boom, you get the loan, right? Boom, you got $2,000. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to release your initial $2,000. So now you have 
four thousand dollars right but we're not going to spend we're not going to spend it at all right we're going to take the original two thousand we have we're going to go to our next bank right and then the other two thousand we're going to put it back into our savings account and then we're going to set it up for auto pay and we're going to pay our first three months of the payment through auto pay and on the fourth month we're going to cash out and cash out 90 percent of the loan so that way you only have two more months left of payments if you do because the whole goal is to pay these loans off in six to eight months right so that way you only have uh two months left on your payments right so now you go to the next bank you do the same thing you wash rinse and repeat at all five of these institutions so now you didn't did it you didn't go out and spend it. You put all of the money back in the account. So all you're doing right now is paying interest, but you're not holding the loan for the full term. So you're not going to have to pay the full amount of interest. This is only going to be a few hundred bucks, but it's going to drive your credit through the roof one because one, you're going to have five personal loans that have been satisfied with five major banking institutions, right? So now you got $2,000 loan paid off. You did what I said. In six months, the loan has been paid off, right? So now you go back to all five of the banks. Now you say, hey, I want to do a personal loan. Now you will be able to get a $2,000 personal loan just off of your signature. And then you do that. So now, boom, you've already worked your way up to getting two thousand dollars from each of these financial institutions unsecured just off of your signature you go in and now you got two thousand dollars right boom you wash rinse and repeat again you do it again right so but now on this next time you add a little bit more on your pledge loan and the next time you you take your amount that you get from the last loan and then you do a pledge loan against that amount whatever amount that you feel comfortable with, right? And then, so you wash, rinse, and repeat. And so now let's say you did a $10,000 pledge loan at each of these institutions, right? Now you have $50,000 worth of loans, and you should also have $50,000 worth of seed money that you use to get the loans, the pledge loans, right? And then you do just like you did on the first go around. And then you keep going. So now I said, it's, you said, DJ, but you're saying 100000 Well, that's not half a million. Oh, you have five banks that you can get $100,000 off of your signature. Hold on. I'm going to tell you the amounts that you can get, right? So with Navy Federal, you can get a $125,000 personal loan off of your signature but you have to work your way up to it just in the way that i mentioned just before right a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars they will only let you get one loan with them though right at four hundred twenty five thousand boom you got a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars that you can get off of your signature you see something out there that you can flip that's gonna cost you sixty thousand but you can make ninety thousand real quick you don't have to go and fill out a long, crazy loan. All you go is get your little loan paperwork. They print it out, sign it, and then put the money in your account the next day. The next day, the money's in your account, all right? So now, Navy Federal, you could do 125000 USAA, the maximum loan you could get is $100,000. But the caveat the caveat with USAA, you can have multiple personal loans out at one time. Ooh. I'm giving y'all the sauce. You know, these fake gurus be out here charging y'all thousands of dollars for this stuff, right? I had to take a lot of these bullshit ass courses and they still didn't teach me this stuff, right? I Well, I take it back. I did learn this from a course, right? But some of these other courses, <laughs> yeah. So the next one, is Bank of America. They have a maximum loan amount of $100,000, 100K, and them too, you can have multiple personal loans out at one time. And then the last one on the list is Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has $100,000 personal line of credit, but you can only do one. 
You can only do one. So if we do the math, that's well over half a million dollars. I'm telling you, relationship banking will get you your bread, right? So one of the things that I'm working up to, I'm using this strategy right now is so I can fund my real estate projects because a lot of times getting financing, they bend you over, right? If you can get a personal loan where your interest is not that much, like some of the some of the loans for flipping houses, 12, 15 points, you know, but you can get a personal loan from a bank at 6%. You know, that's crazy numbers. You just save you thousands, especially if you're paying it back in six months. So with that being said, that's the nice show. I hope you was able to get something valuable from it. If you was, make sure that you drop a like. Also, um, reach out to me. If you have any questions, djerry at gmail. I do answer them. I'm going to reach out to you. If you uh, reach out to me, make sure you drop a like. And if you got any questions, you can also drop them down in the comments. I love y'all. Stay tuned.